Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. You bury me zero. 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 You're my present this year. Is that as smooth as the red ribbon she had planned to lemon's very pectoral muscle? He saw something in her eyes when she touched him. A recognition of firmness. After all, he was toned to perfection for weeks of rebuilding a church in Rocco Red, along the northern banks of the great Starsees River. He had met a woman there who reminded him of his sister. He cared for her, told her a fledgling example of English, had even found himself feeling love for her. That was not a sister, though, however. Then again, was this? He began to open his mouth, and in one of his parents would walk downstairs. The look on her face said they were on the same channel. Everything he had just thought, she heard it. He spoke. Listen, when mom and dad go out to say hi to the Gossens next door tonight, let's hang back, go upstairs, and fuck the shit out of each other. What? She answered the wall, dude. Come on, let's do it. Fuck, I'm really sorry this. He reached out to reassure her, but she pulled away, fear in her eyes. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I'm just happy you're home from Africa. What the hell are you talking about wanting to fuck me? Are you serious? And like a blade being hammered on the end, there was father's voice running out from behind him. What in Sarah? Where else? Go, whoa, 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 whoa. I can explain, he stammered, but was cut off by the visceral scream from his mother as she began sobbing into her bathrobe. His father erupted a white morning spittle shooting from the corners of his mouth. No son of mine is gonna do fucking Folgers, coffee! He belted his son in the face, knocking the boy unconscious. This is a Pete's coffee house! Drink Pete's coffee and share it!